We have learned to live our lives trying to satisfy other people's demands. We have learned to live by other people's points of view because of the fear of not being accepted and of not being good enough for someone else. The Four Agreements Toltec Wisdom. This is a book that I recently finished, which kind of opened my eyes to the conditioning that so many humans, us as humans, are all put under. How many times have you seen a, a kid, a child, at an age where they are the most authentic version of themselves? They might not even know that they don't know themselves, but they're just being them to the fullest extent. They're running around, they're being goofy, they're having a good time, they're playing, they're always playing and they're always laughing, they're always smiling. How many times have you seen a kid, or maybe you experienced this yourself and can at least remember the memory, a kid doing that and getting put down and saying, hey, shut up, listen, sit down and listen and be controlled and control yourself. And this idea when we're kids of like, oh, you know, when I grow up, when I grow up, I'm going to do this. When I grow up, I'm going to... I'm going to be this. Guys, let your inner child out more often. It's something that I try to do. I try and be as childlike as possible, as often as possible. Obviously, in certain situations, I can't be. But even then, in most situations, if you're goofy and have a good time, life rewards you. Because that is how we were supposed to be. Think back to how you were as a kid before the world turned you dark. Before your heart got turned dark. Think about it. Just just think back. It's, it's a fear of being disliked. It's a fear of being looked at as different or unique. I think more people these days, we need to be more unique. We need to be more expressive of ourselves and our true, true selves. Not the selves that we think we are, that we should be for the outside viewer to judge us on. Right, guys? As I've spoken before in previous videos, fear is, the, is one of the lowest states of vibration that you can possibly be at. If you aren't being your truest self, and guys, I'm not perfect. I struggle with this too. So don't don't think I'm over here speaking from, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm always my truest self. And there's never a time where I have to hide my most genuine personality. I'm working on it, guys. And I and I will admit, I, I am doing quite good. And I see many people these days who are so afraid afraid to be different or are so afraid to be their true self and their true self only comes out with people that they are very comfortable around this can manifest in different ways and we're going to talk more about this in the next clip i actually wanted to tell a brief story about myself for the ability for you guys to relate to me because I personally love to hear stories of others and being able to relate to them in a way just brings our bond that much closer because remember guys we're in the matrix we are all one we are all connected so hearing our stories and telling our stories speaking our truth is important so guys I used to be the shyest most shy person ever and these days if you look at it society labels shyness as a trait like they will just straight up say oh yeah he's just shy like he was just born shy or she was just born shy nobody is born shy on this whole planet okay they are conditioned 
to silence themselves, silence their true, true personality, silence their truest being that is within them. They are conditioned by their parents, by their friends. They are put down to think that it is not cool to be themselves. So guys, I was that person. I was conditioned to think that I had to be shy, that I couldn't speak up, that I couldn't share my personal personality to the world. I had to mask it and I had to create this persona that is still probably being used today to a certain extent. It's one of the hardest things ever, guys. It's one of the hardest things ever. But basically, I was so shy and I was so shy so recent, guys. In 2020, I had a spiritual awakening and I started following semen retention practices. I started taking care of my body better. I started working out. I started reading books. I started gaining knowledge. I started working on myself, okay? I started meditating. I started going within. I started learning all of these different things about myself that we have all the answers within and that we create our realities and we are powerful beings having a human experience. I started to realize all these things and I started to stop selling myself short and I started to be my truest self. Now prior to that, I was the quiet guy in school and I had actually gone back to college after some time away. I had gone, I, I was back in college and I was still pretty quiet, especially around professors and things and I wasn't showing my truest colors. But it wasn't until I started truly showing my truest self, at least trying to, regardless of who was listening, and stopped this shy bullshit and threw it in the trash and realized that I need to start presenting myself in my truest form. And once I did, the blessings that landed on my plate, you cannot believe it, bro, on everything. I felt that I started to become buddy-buddy with professors. They started to realize I wasn't just a robot student going through the normal functioning processes, okay? I started to realize my passions, the things that I was truly, truly passionate about in life because I wasn't hiding behind a shell of a person that I was, guys. True blessings, jobs started to land on my plate. I developed great relationships with multitudes of people, girls included, just as friends. I I just became a better version of myself and leveled up. Obviously, I wouldn't have been able to do this without all of these other spiritual practices that I mentioned just a second ago that I was following. But what did I wanted to really hit home, man? Be real in a world of fake, in a world of robot, in a world of technology. The powers that are, the, the, the people that everyone calls they, the people that run this matrix, the people that have extreme control, they want you to be emotionless. They want you to look at your screen and become zoned out every night to screens. They want you to fap off so much that your hair falls out. They want you to do all of these terrible things and basically turn into AI robots. It's it's one of the it's so true, man. If you look at the way the media is presenting things at the way certain things are getting shoved in our face, this is the agenda that's happening. So one of the most powerful things you can do in this world is be your true authentic self, guys. And there are times where I am my true authentic self and I get backlash for it. And I've been really working at this lately, guys. I'm not afraid to speak this truth. I'm not afraid to present this information. That's why I make these videos now, okay? That leveled up in my life as well, okay? You gotta understand, once you're your truest self, you start connecting to the things that are meant for you. So maybe this whole time, I could have been making these videos, could have been talking about things I'm passionate about, 
But instead, I was stuck in the matrix, bruh. And I was blinded and I was in fear. And I wasn't my truest self. But that shit is over with. I hope this message resonated with somebody out there, man. I really appreciate you guys for tuning into my videos. Love Light Team, baby. You know what's good. I'm about to pull up and get some gas and we're about to go have a good dinner. Peace.